This is the reading for day 129 of the year 2022, May 9, 2022. I'm reading from the New Living Translation of the Chronological One-Year Reading Bible. Today's scripture is from the book of Psalm. Psalm chapter 27, starting at verse 1, heading, A Psalm of David. The Lord is my light and my salvation, so why should I be afraid? The Lord is my fortress, protecting me from danger, so why should I tremble? When evil people come to devour me, when my enemies and foes attack me, they will stumble and fall. Though a mighty army surrounds me, my heart will not be afraid. Even if I am attacked, I will remain confident. The one thing I ask of the Lord, the thing I seek most, is to live in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, delighting in the Lord's perfections and meditating in his temple. For he will conceal me there when trouble comes. He will hide me in his sanctuary. He will place me out of reach on a high rock. Then I will hold my head high above my enemies who surround me. At his sanctuary, I will offer sacrifices with shouts of joy, singing and praising the Lord with music. Hear me as I pray, O Lord. Be merciful and answer me. My heart has heard you say, come and talk with me. And my heart responds, Lord, I am coming. Do not turn your back on me. Do not reject your servant in anger. You have always been my helper. Don't leave me now. Don't abandon me, O God of my salvation. Even if my father and mother abandon me, the Lord will hold me close. Teach me how to live, O Lord. Lead me along the right path, for my enemies are waiting for me. Do not let me fall into their hands, for they accuse me of things I have never done. With every breath they threaten me with violence, yet I am confident I will see the Lord's goodness while I am here in the land of the living. Wait patiently for the Lord. Be brave and courageous. Yes, wait patiently for the Lord. Psalm 28, starting at verse 1, heading a Psalm of David. I pray to you, O Lord, my rock. Do not turn a deaf ear to me, for if you are silent, I might as well give up and die. Listen to my prayer for mercy, as I cry out to you for help, as I lift my hands towards your holy sanctuary. Do not drag me away with the wicked, with those who do evil, those who speak friendly words to the neighbors while planning evil in their hearts. Give them the punishment they so richly deserve. Measure it out in proportion to the wickedness. Pay them back for all their evil deeds. Give them a taste of what they have done to others. They care nothing for what the Lord has done or for what his hands have made. So he will tear them down, and they will never be rebuilt. Praise the Lord, for he has heard my cry for mercy. The Lord is my strength and shield. I trust him with all my heart. He helps me, and my heart is filled with joy. I burst out in songs of thanksgiving. The Lord gives his people strength. He is a strong fortress for his anointed king. Save your people, bless Israel your special possession. Lead them like a shepherd. Carry them in your arms forever. Psalm chapter 29, starting at verse 1, heading a Psalm of David. Honor the Lord, you heavenly beings. Honor the Lord for his glory and strength. Honor the Lord for the glory of his name. Worship the Lord in the splendor of his holiness. The voice of the Lord echoes above the sea. The God of glory thunders. The Lord thunders over the mighty sea. The voice of the Lord is powerful. The voice of the Lord is majestic. The voice of the Lord splits the mighty cedars. The Lord shatters the cedars of Lebanon. He makes Lebanon's mountains skip like a calf. He makes Mount Hermon leap like a young wild ox. The voice of the Lord strikes with bolts of lightning. The voice of the Lord makes the barren wilderness quake. The Lord shakes the wilderness of Kadesh. The voice of the Lord twists mighty oaks and strips the forest bare. In his temple, everyone shouts, Glory! The Lord rules over the floodwaters. The Lord reigns as king forever. The Lord gives his people strength. The Lord blesses them with peace. Psalm chapter 30, starting at verse 1, heading a psalm of David, a song for the dedication of the temple. I will exalt you, Lord, for you rescued me. You refused to let my enemies triumph over me. O Lord my God, I cried to you for help and you restored my health. 
You brought me up from the grave, O Lord. You kept me from falling into the pit of death. Sing to the Lord, all you godly ones. Praise his holy name. For his anger lasts only a moment, but his favor lasts a lifetime. Weeping may last through the night, but joy comes with the morning. When I was prosperous, I said, nothing can stop me now. Your favor, O Lord, made me as secure as a mountain. Then you turned away from me, and I was shattered. I cried out to you, O Lord. I begged the Lord for mercy, saying, What will you gain if I die, if I sink into the grave? Can my dust praise you? Can it tell of your faithfulness? Hear me, Lord, and have mercy on me. Help me, O Lord. You have turned my mourning into joyful dancing. You have taken away my clothes of mourning and clothed me with joy, that I might sing praises to you and not be silent. O Lord, my God, I will give you thanks forever. Psalm chapter 31, starting at verse 1. Heading for the choir director, a psalm of David. O Lord, I have come to you for protection. Don't let me be disgraced. Save me, for you do what is right. Turn your ear to listen to me. Rescue me quickly. Be my rock of protection, a fortress where I will be safe. You are my rock and my fortress. For the honor of your name, lead me out of this danger. Pull me from the trap my enemy set for me. For I find protection in you alone. I entrust my spirit into your hand. Rescue me, Lord, for you are a faithful God. I hate those who worship worthless idols. I trust in the Lord. I will be glad and rejoice in your unfailing love. For you have seen my troubles, and you care about the anguish of my soul. You have not handed me over to my enemies, but have set me in a safe place. Have mercy on me, Lord, for I am in distress. Tears blur my eyes. My body and soul are withering away. I am dying from grief. My years are shortened by sadness. Sin has drained my strength. I am wasting away from within. I am scorned by all my enemies and despised by my neighbors. Even my friends are afraid to come near me. When they see me on the street, they run the other way. I am ignored as if I were dead, as if I were a broken pot. I have heard the many rumors about me, and I am surrounded by terror. My enemies conspire against me, plotting to take my life. But I am trusting you, O Lord, saying, You are my God. My future is in your hands. Rescue me from those who hunt me down relentlessly. Let your favor shine on your servant. In your unfailing love, rescue me. Don't let me be disgraced, O Lord, for I call out to you for help. Let the wicked be disgraced. Let them lie silent in the grave. Silence their lying lips, those proud and arrogant lips that accuse the godly. How great is the goodness you have stored up for those who fear you. You lavish it on those who come to you for protection blessing them before the watching world. You hide them in the shelter of your presence, safe from those who conspire against them. You shelter them in your presence, far from accusing tongues. Praise the Lord, for he has shown me the wonders of his unfailing love. He kept me safe when my city was under attack. In panic I cried out, I am cut off from the Lord. But you heard my cry for mercy and answered my call for help. Love the Lord, all you godly ones, for the Lord protects those who are loyal to him, but he harshly punishes the arrogant. So be strong and courageous, all you who put your hope in the Lord. Psalm chapter 32, starting at verse 1. The heading, a psalm of David. O oh, what joy for those whose disobedience is forgiven, whose sin is put out of sight. Yes, what joy for those whose record the Lord has cleared of debt, whose lives are lived in complete honesty. When I refused to confess my sin, my body wasted away, and I groaned all day long. Day and night, your hand of discipline was heavy on me. My strength evaporated like water in the summer heat. Interlude. Finally, I confessed all my sins to you and stopped trying to hide my guilt. I said to myself, I will confess my rebellion to the Lord, and you forgave me. All my guilt is gone. Interlude. Therefore, let all the godly pray to you while there is still time, that they may not drown in the floodwaters of judgment. For you are my hiding place. 
You protect me from trouble. You surround me with songs of victory. Interlude. The Lord says, I will guide you along the best pathway of your life. I will advise you and watch over you. Do not be like a senseless horse or mule that needs a bit and bridle to keep it under control. Many sorrows come to the wicked, but unfailing love surrounds those who trust the Lord. So rejoice in the Lord and be glad, all you who obey him. Shout for joy, all whose hearts are pure. That is the reading for day 129 of the year 2022. God bless each and every one of you. And may God be with you until we meet again.